find the equation when just suppose that x is equal to n over k we can change the formula because dx over dt is equal to r times x times 1 minus x from the previous equation so after we have this equation next steps we time every side of the equation with 1 over x times 1 minus x so we just get this equation here after that we integrate this equation so we just have this equation and then just simplify the equation like this now we could use the left hand integration for done by this this left hand i mean this part by using partial fraction uh, this thing make us to integrate the equation so just make sure that from the equation we get 1 over x times 1 minus x and we time this part by minus 1 so we get minus 1 here and um, the equation here changes become x minus 1 so uh, we can divide this um, this equation into two part a over x plus b over x minus 1 so um, since x times x minus 1 is equal to x plus x minus 1 over here we just uh, make analysis for this part minus 1 is equal to a time x minus 1 plus b time x so we got this equation here and just simplify this equation and we got the result a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 1 after we that after we get this value we back to our equation first and we define the equation for 1 over x time 1 minus x become this equation after that we simplify the equation with integration and we get ln x minus ln x plus oh i'm sorry x1 plus c equal to r time t plus c so we get here just operation yeah uh man algebraic manipulations and we get x over x minus one equal to e power r time t plus c yeah or c times e power r time t so guys this formula we get from the simplification from the previous equation and we know just um substitute the value the initial value problem here we get when the t is equal to zero the value of x is 0 0.01 and we just substitute the value to the equation and we get the result c is equal to negative 1 over 99 after we get the value of c we back to the formula back to the equation and change this c to the value to the its value so the new equation is x over x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 99 e power rt because the form of equation is still in implicit equation we just have to make the explicit equation to become x equal to blah 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 and we just do algebraic manipulation here so i believe that you can do this by yourself so we just get the, uh, the results here yeah such these equations after that we just remember that 99 here actually the form of 1 over x0 minus 1 so yeah, if you don't believe it just do it and you can find the value of 99 here so guys the explicit equation of the logistic equation is x is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 for x0 minus 1 times e power minus r time t okay that's it so guys to plot of a sigmoid curve of this equation actually we could use the microsoft excel we just plot the 0 until 10 here and actually uh, there will be a, the missing part here column e loose actually the column e is the value of e the natural number and here we put we input the formula from the explicit equation before and we got the value of each t yeah and by using the chart in excel the facility of chart we actually could get the sigmoid curve here it's easy
So guys, to answer the first question part B, we also can use Excel and we do the same thing, the same things as the what we have the what we have done before and we just uh, input 1 until 10 here and Sardinis column here and shot column here. And the formula is still the same like before, but the different thing is from the value of R. If the before the value of, of R is equal to 1, this is we can change the value of r becomes 0 0.65 it means that the rate the growth rate of the sardines is 65 percent while the shark yeah while the shark we use 0 0.2 it means that the growth rate of the shark is 20 percent so from the problems we know that the growth rate of sardines is greater than shark so by plotting it in the chart title the sigmoid growth curve we know that the species that keep quickest recovering is sardines we just look the blue line here while the shark is yeah more yeah less less have less growth than the sardines so guys, this is our third question. It's easy. Just uh, we just decide about the stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium. When the stable equilibrium that the population deviates a bit from the equilibrium value, it tends to return to it. So we we'll attract, and when we we'll talk about the unstable equilibriums, it means the population deviates from the equilibrium is tend to diverge from it ever further. So I have just made a. A passive portrait of the autonomous equation here and this is the result the L effect here we have the y axis here it is the per capita, per capita growth rate the n over dt and here the x axis the population size yeah and we know that when the population growth differs it means that unstable equilibrium in here and when the population convert to one point makes the population makes the L effect has stable equilibrium here because it converts to one point while in this point it differs in this point it's converts. So this is our last question. Discuss the consequences of the result above for a population and the fluctuation close to the LE threshold A. As we have discussed before, when the value of LE effect in here uh, the value of population near to the LA threshold it means that uh, it will result the number of one here and one minus one is zero so the whole um, the whole result will make a zero the n over dt is zero it means that the population is extinct